David Turner's new location in Los Angeles opened its doors with an exhibition of Stan Douglas' works, including Key to Channel Video Work, ISDN of 2022, along with a collection of related photos. Stan Douglas created ISDN and four photos for his solo show for the 2022 Venice Biennale, where he represented Canada. These works collectively reflect on the impact of the events of 2011, a year marked by widespread global turmoil, including the Occupy Wall Street movements, the Arab Spring, and protests in many cities, including London and Douglas's hometown, Vancouver. In the two-channel video installation, ISDN, viewers find themselves in the heart of a musical jam session that is happening across different continents. They are literally placed between two screens. The work, set in 2011, features rappers in makeshift studios in London and Cairo. Douglas places these rappers from two cities in a dialogue to contrast two music styles that emerged around the same time in the early 2000s in UK and Egypt. As Douglas points out, these genres become the soundtrack for youthful revolt in 2011. While both styles have their roots in hip-hop and use a variety of unique sampled effects, it's mainly their role as a form of social criticism that started on the fringes and later gained broader recognition that led Douglas to unite them in his work. The video display is enhanced by five photos, the four displayed in Venice plus additional earlier related piece that recreate specific moments from 2011 in four global cities – London, New York, Tunis and Vancouver. To make these panoramic scenes, Douglas digitally pieced together images using various sources to reconstruct the events as accurately as he could. Even through the COVID-19 pandemic stopped him from traveling, he hired photographers to take shots from different angles and viewpoints. From these shots, he carefully erased any elements that didn't exist in 2011, like graffiti or even newly built buildings. Douglas then staged these scenes locally, using an empty hockey ring as a set. Here, he photographed groups of actors dressed in period clothes and then meticulously added them into the image using digital editing tools. Interestingly, even though he stayed true to the specific situations, his final images are inherently artificial. They give off an eerie real feeling while containing too much information for the human eye to process. Squeeze my time on feet. I'm a busy body, can't clock watch. Cross nice, it's Caribbean hot stars. <laughs> 